Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to my live Facebook and my YouTube channel. My name is Owen Fox. I eat a raw food diet. I have recovered enormously from health issues. I used to be sad, sick and depressed and not want to live anymore. And now I'm in the highest, best state of peace of mind, happiness and joy and gratitude and appreciation and physical, mental and emotional wellness that I've ever been in my life. I've overcome so many relationship and health and mental and emotional challenges and issues and feeling so down and out to, to thriving and blossoming and having the best relationships ever, both with all of my family members, strangers and my romantic relationships. I have let go of so much non-forgiveness to me or others, um, resentment, guilt for my own past mistakes, shame regarding what society taught me, the shame of my body, I love nudity, I love nature, I've let go of so much conditioning and programming and pains and hurts from my child traumas and wounds that we all experience to connect and have access to my higher self, which is what, what you could call higher vibration instead of the ego, which is just a lovely word, I don't mind the word ego, it's cool with me, it's just another friendly word for me, which is re revolves and rotates around like caring for yourself, practicing self-love, to be self ish not in the the mean like basic like mm -hmm. mean or careless to others but just caring for yourself way that's what the ego more or less is survival there's nothing wrong with the word ego i'm happy with the word ego a lot of people don't like certain words like loads of different types of words like I, i'm happy with any sort of negativity like fuck sex nudity like rape i don't like rape but i'm just saying a lot of words trigger so many different things for, for so many people including myself in the past but it's only when we can make peace and love a word unconditionally and love ourselves unconditionally and love others unconditionally can we focus solution based to make amends and to make solution positive impact in the world and to love ourselves truly unconditionally and others and a word that's being used. So in this video, I want to talk about the difference between criticizing someone in a relationship. It could be a family member or especially a romantic relationship. It could be a mother. It could be your, your son or your daughter. It could be anybody. There's two different types of communication. There's, non -com there's compassionate and then there's non-compassionate. There's violent or non-violent. Now, books have been written on this. Seminars have been given on, on, on non-violent communication, it's generally called. Um, but what I found in my life, there's a difference between criticizing somebody and putting them down or undermining them. And communicating in a way that helps them to learn, that teaches them from a loving, compassionate place, almost like an adult a parent will teach their children. So not from a critical place, not from a con condemning, judging, undermining place where you hurt someone's confidence, potentially, or you potentially hurt someone's self-esteem, but you communicate from a, a more gentle, loving, soft-hearted approach and tone in your voice where you have a love, respect and acceptance of somebody, but you also want to help them to become more aware if they communicate with you or do something in a way that could be undermining, critical or harshly judgmental towards you. So we're here to teach and learn from each other in an open-minded sense instead of put down, hurt or criticize or condemn or judge because no one's perfect. We all do our best, everyone. Remember that. We're all doing our best based on where we've come from, where we've been, and how we are right now, which is constantly changing. So we want to steward and guide each other along lovingly and compassionately instead of hurt and knock down. That doesn't do any good. So um, our, 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 our simpler self or our eager, ego self, when they, we criticize others, we get a kick, a fix, or a buzz because we, when we put someone else down, the ego lives in comparison. We put ourselves higher. Like let's say we're here, we put someone down, now we're higher. So the ego gets a kick out of feeling better because that's where it's, it gets its self-esteem from and its identity, your idea of who you are, your conceptual identity. So when you can let go of all this sort of stuff and you take your identity, not from your past, not from your past triumphs or failures or mistakes or victories, not from your accolades or diplomas or degrees or education, not from your previous or current jobs, or titles or like king, queen, lofty names or words, nothing like that. Not from where you live, not from what you dress, 
not from what club or cliques you're part of. None of that is your identity, everyone. That's only what you might be interested in at the moment in your life, which could totally change in one year or five years or tomorrow. Um, when we have a, a, a deeper sense of who we are and know who we are, it's un, it's it's unpunchable. You can't touch it. You can't knock it. And therefore, you're more invulnerable and impervious to other people criticizing you because you don't take it to heart. You don't take it to who you truly are. You see it for what it is and you, and you understand where people are coming from. At least this is where I am in my life, totally 100% in this video as I'm describing. I've been to where the ego place was. I've grown throughout the years and now I'm at a place of this place, the second part of which I'm describing, the higher vantage point of more look may i accept love and respect someone for this person for where they are at this moment exactly the way they are so then you communicate in a place where it helps them to empathize and understand you and to understand why they are acting and saying the things that they say and do so they can have greater understanding and awareness and learn why they are doing what they do hey stephen always a pleasure to see you here for me stephen beautiful person so it's all about being willing to be stewarded and learned and guided and listen to other people to learn to be less hard-hearted and closed-minded hard hard-minded hard to be more open-minded and receptive and a loving teacher a steward and a guide like a parent to be more parental and loving and compassionate and then you avoid the drama this way because you don't you don't get sucked into the people's dramas because drama only happens when you go into violent or non-compassionate reactive communication where you criticize and judge and get an ego kick that you're better or superior or loftier or better than other people. And then you argue and criticize and react and everyone's reactive and there's no spaces in between like sentences. Everyone's like, instead of, you know, you can talk quickly, but you have to be very, very aware to react, talk quickly back without it being a react reaction that's coming from a programmed or traumatized place of unconscious conditioning and pain and hurt within yourself from from blockages. So it's always good to have a little space before you start talking quickly with people. I think talking quickly is one of the worst things you never do in a, in a, in a discussion. Do you know what I do these days? I say, is this, a, is this, an, are we fighting? Like I've said this, like I've said this, are, are we, is this like, are we fighting? Or is this like, is this the type of conversation that you enjoy or want to have? Just to check in, like check in. Because when you're reactive, you, you're not aware, you're just totally lost in a dream world. So if someone stops it, bam, beep, bump, and they say, is this really the way you want to be? Is this really how you want to talk to each other? Is this really your intention or your goal or objective to communicate in this way and to bring about this type of un uncomfortable feelings with the both of us? Or in yourself? Like, you can say you're feeling uncomfortable if you're feeling uncomfortable. Sometimes one person's uncomfortable who's most reactive, and sometimes both people are uncomfortable. And it's fine to admit or ask questions for a better solution-based um, outcome. There's nothing wrong with that. It's really, really good to check in and just take your time. Like, for me, I have no time for arguments in my life. I don't want to argue. It's not what I want to do. It's not part of my intention or my choosing how I want to create today. Because every day you have to set with intention. What's my intention? My intention is to have the best day ever, to love, live, laugh, to really enjoy my life and to remember, create good memories even potentially. But it's just basically, even forget, it doesn't matter about the memories. It's to have the best day ever, to love, live, laugh, to be true to myself and to love, live, laugh and to connect and have fun and enjoy and to love, live, laugh, to be productive or creative, to be kind or inspiring or fun and to be inspired and to learn. Just have the best day ever be out in nature and to be healthy and productive, to be positive, to make it, to grow in myself. In all of that, none, there's no arguments as part of that. I don't want to waste my time either feeling sad or uncomfortable or helping to make or stimulate someone else to be sad or uncomfortable. That's definitely not part of my goal. So until you become goal and objective and intentional orientated, intentional living it's called, or conscious living, you're just going to like seep into unconscious, unintentional reactions based on programming and conditioning and beliefs and pain, trauma and hurts. So that's it, everybody. So I hope this video painted the most delicious, beautiful picture for you. I'm looking at the gorgeous coconuts, the beautiful Florida blue sky, the nice green leaves, the gorgeous green grass. Having 
it's close to the best day ever that I can make. To have the best day ever, you, what you, the ingredient is having peace of mind, feeling, living intentionally and consciously, and living connected to your heart with loving compassion and acceptance towards yourself and other people. From these places, you can either be productive, creative, or have fun, and enjoy your life and relationships and work. So, so take care, everyone. Have a beautiful day. And when you start living this way, like I'm describing, and practice it, it's just a practice, and you just get better gradually over time. You're telling you, you're going to have way more best day ever. You're going to be the happiest you've ever been in your life. You're going to have way more peace of mind on living meditatively, naturally, more and more as you do this. You're going to look after yourself and practice self-love in physical ways, diet, chemicals, nature, fresh air, sunshine, family, relatives, work, career, passion, calling, energy, sleep, fun, loving, soulmate, romantic, sweeter relationships, the best you've ever had in your life to date. Everything's just going to keep getting better and better. You're going to just look better, feel better, sound better. You're going to get more compliments. That's everything's happened in my life this way. 100% easily, just constantly, just on the upward slope that goes up like this. And it's just, mm, yeah, it feels so good. I promise you, get on board with all this sort of stuff through studying yourself, reflection, and looking at yourself and changing yourself gradually in your thinking. You're going to have the best time ever, best life ever. You're going to love life, and you're just going to be so glad to be alive. Just, just telling you. And you're going to love the fresh air. And you're going to appreciate your body and love people more than you've ever loved and appreciated. <laughs> and you're just going to be so more inspired little by little. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your kindness and goodness. Appreciate you very much. You're very special. We're all special. You're all unique and beautiful and special. And life is a gift. It's the greatest gift ever. Nothing that I'm talking about in this video can happen unless you're alive, basically speaking. Life is a gift. Time and space in the physical world on Earth is beautiful. I love Earth. I've come here a thousand times over. Because you get to experience things gradually in one step at a time, one page at a time. And it's the most delicious experience ever. It's like having your favorite raw vegan ice cream like I just had. With cacao nibs, Crayola brand, the Crayola makeup, like a banana, frozen bananas with some... Um, um, for the first time ever in my life, I had food grade, like raw vegan, like vegan coloring. Uh, what else was in there? Some raisins, and it's like one spoon at a time, everyone. It's like when my 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 friend Abraham says, "You don't want all of your orgasms today for the rest of your life, all today, and then you have none forever more." That's why life is great living on Earth. It's like one day at a time. You get to experience and think, mm, "Yummy, yummy, 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 yummy." Oh, new things. Mm, yummy. Oh, I knew we desired that happen. Mm, yummy. It's so satisfying experiencing all of this unfoldment and magic day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. And learning one step at a time, isn't that like so satisfying? There's nothing better than that, everyone. How can people like possibly say earth is shit or crap and they don't want to come here or it's like a prison or jail? Yeah, I know a little bit where they're coming from in some regard. Like I know the the, the old world order which is casting they've tried to control us and that's that's whatever. We're part of the game, we're solution based organized, we're making it's happening in the favour of us me, you, and all of the people who have just simple, sincere, innocent intentions to live happily hearted together, they're collapsing. But life is a gift. It's the best thing ever. I know. Sometimes I just don't know what to say when I talk about life. <laughs> don't listen to anyone on any YouTube videos, people like being miserable about life. They're not tuned in. They're, they're probably like just victims of the ego. The ego victim story, that's what they are. And I love and compassion to them, but you know, get in celebration mode. Like, life is really cool. Thanks for listening, everyone. Really enjoyed making this video. It's very good. I love having a body too. Having a body is fantastic, everyone. I'm just happy you have a body. <laughs>